first thing that stands out to you when you enter a giant sequoia grove is the scale that's completely different than anything you've seen before. There are these massive orange trunks that dwarf everything around them. Some of the branches that grow on some of these big trees, hundreds of feet high, are bigger than most trees on the planet. Back in 2014, it was the third year of severe drought here in California. Ourselves and our colleagues noticed that a lot of the big trees were showing unusual levels of foliage dieback. They were shedding a bunch of foliage. So in order to understand how stressed these trees are, we need to measure how much tension the water column inside the plant is under. And that's kind of analogous to measuring the blood pressure in a human as a measure of their physiological status. Basically, we clip little shoots of foliage, put them in a little plastic bag, bring them down to the ground, and put them in this device that is able to measure how much tension the water column is at at the time that you cut that little piece of foliage. We put the little piece of foliage leaf end down into this pressurized chamber, and the amount of pressure it takes to push the water back out of the stem is equal to the amount of tension it was under when you cut that piece of foliage. We need to do that at different times of day, at different times of the year, at different parts of the plant. And as you go up the tree, that tension increases. These giant sequoia trees being hundreds of feet tall, they have a lot of stress at the very top compared to the bottom of the tree. So in order to get an accurate estimate of how the tree is doing, we need to go to the very tippy top of the tree and measure the status of the tree at that point. We're doing this because we love these trees and we love these forests. We've partnered with the National Park here to get a better understanding of the basic biology of these trees and trying to link that with providing information that they can use to help manage these forests into the future in a changing climate.